how you can track forums on Facebook, how you can create a lead event or a lead conversion uh, using Pixel Your Site. There are two ways that you can do this. One is to use our uh, automatic event that fires on every forum and to create a conversion using that event and some parameters that identify the form or the second approach is to uh, fire a dedicated event on a form button. Uh, I will show you both because they are both useful. For example, let's say I want to track uh, this form every time uh, someone clicks on the send button I will have an event something let me let me send the form watch careful right here and you will see a form event fired Here it is. Now, this form event fires every time uh, a form is submitted. However, we have parameters allowing me to target a specific form. In this case, form class, and you will see the classes right here. And another parameter that can help me is the event page, event URL, this one right here. Usually you will, you will not have multiple forms on uh, the same page. But if you do, you can use both parameters like event URL and uh, form class to uh, make a distinction between different forms. With this data, you can create a custom conversion like this. Custom conversion. Okay, form parameter uh, I want event URL to be this one basically this page contains or equal uh, if I need I can add another condition and say uh, form class and I will get a value from here like this and now I will give this a name now I have the conditions for this custom conversion it will fire every time I click on that submit button but I can do something else I can select my own category for this form and I want this to be a lead you can select a different category but in my case I want this to be a lead and now I click create now this form can be used for ads deliver optimization and I can also um, add it in my custom reports and see uh, how conversion goes goes for this particular form the other approach that you can do is to fire your own event on that forms button and this will be relatively easy just inspect and check for the uh, button uh, classes okay so these are the classes i can use chances are that your form plugin also has uh, the option to add custom IDs or custom classes to this button. They will help to better identify a form. I will keep things very simple in this case. Uh, now I go to the events page. I add a new event. I will give it the name. Uh, click on CSS selector use a dot in front of a class add the class enable this option that will make sure that event fires only once for uh, the same user it helps especially with forms now i can enable this event for facebook and say this should be a lead event or 
I can use a custom event name, just add a name there. But in this case, I want this to be a lead. I can add parameters if I want. If you use the super pack, you can add dynamic parameters and they're listed here. I don't want to add any parameters in this case. I can enable this event for Google Analytics, Google Ads, TikTok, Pinterest, and Bing. I will keep it just for Facebook for now and save. Uh, now I will refresh this page and let's see if the event fires. Okay, so I will click on the button and yeah, I do have a lead event. Now, with this lead event, I can do a similar thing. I can create a custom conversion. I don't really need it. Uh, I can create a custom audience. This is a standard event, so Facebook will be able to uh, optimize directly for this event, and you can um, track it with your ads. However, this event might not tell you so many things about what form. Uh, well, in my case, it will be this form, but sometimes you, you want to track different forms. So a single lead event will not help. It's simply better to use the first approach and create a custom conversion for each form instead of a lead event. It's up to you. Thank you for watching. Uh, click on the like button and of course subscribe to our channel.